The ESP32C3 based parking assistance is an advanced parking sensor system that utilizes the ESP32C3 Super Mini microcontroller to provide accurate distance measurement and parking assistance. This is the third iteration of my previously released parking assistant videos. This parking assistant system uses ultrasonic sensor to help drivers park their vehicle accurately by providing visual and audible feedback about the distance to the obstacle. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can also order advanced PCBs, aluminium PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need to the greatest extent. For this project, I'm using a ESP32C3 Super Mini Single Core Microcontroller which has a small form factor and also includes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Other than that, I have a HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor, a 24 LED NeoPixel ring, a TM1637 7 segment display, a buzzer, a 100 ohm resistor, a mini AC to DC 5 volt adapter and a mounting hardware printed using a 3D printer. The wiring setup is pretty straightforward. Connect the microcontroller's pin number 4 to the buzzer, connect pin number 3 to the NeoPixel ring, wire pin number 2 to the trick pin and pin number 1 to the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor, connect pin number 8 to clock and pin number 9 to DIO of the 7 segment display. Finally, connect all the positive terminals to the power rail and all negative terminals to ground. For the project to function, we need to first install the ESP32C3 board from the board manager. Additionally, we need to install the TM1637 display.h and Adafruit underscore NeoPixel.h libraries from the library manager. I began by testing each components individually with the ESP32C3 board to verify their functionality. Once all the modules were confirmed to be working, I connected all of them to the ESP32C3 board and uploaded the program to orchestrate their combined operation. All source codes for this project are available on my GitHub repository. We'll begin the parking assistant code by importing all the required libraries. Then in the variable declaration section, we will define all the pin numbers and their initial values making them globally accessible. In the setup section, the code first establishes a Wi-Fi connection to my Raspberry Pi based home server. This feature is optional and can be disabled simply by removing or commenting out the relevant code section. Following the network initialization, all pin modes input output are defined and the necessary hardware modules are initialized. The loop section operates continuously, performing two primary tasks. It reads the distance from the autosonic sensor and outputs the value to the seven segment display. It also controls the NeoPixel LED's color and number based on the measured distance, providing a visual indication of the approaching vehicle. The system detects when the vehicle is stationary by monitoring for a stable distance reading. Once parked, the NeoPixel enters a rainbow animation mode before both 7-segment display and the NeoPixel powers down. This is the 2D and 3D representation of my board. Initially, I designed it with just the circular PCB, but in the final iteration, I incorporated an additional PCB dedicated to the ultrasonic sensor. If you'd like to get started with the PCB design, I have a step-by-step -step guide in tutorial number 45, Transformer PCB Badge. The link is in the description below. Let's start by soldering the resistance to the board. Then let's solder the ESP32C3 microcontroller to the board. Since I care a lot about my ICs and microcontrollers, I never solder them directly to the board. In case of an IC, I always try to use IC bases or if a base is not available, I use female pin headers. Then let's solder the buzzer 
followed by the AC to DC 5V adapter to the board. Once that's done, let's solder the 7 segment display to the board, followed by the NeoPixel ring. To maintain the height, I added a few supports to keep the ring afloat. The 220V power supply will be connected to these ports and the ultrasonic sensor will connect to these ports via a 1 meter long cable. I created the 3D model for this project using Microsoft 3D Builder. The top section is made up of four key components. Main housing, the primary enclosure of the unit, front covers, protective panels for the front section, internal holder, a custom piece to secure the unit inside the housing, back lid, the rear cover that completes the assembly. For the bottom section housing the autosonic sensor, I used a 3D model originally created by DStark1 from Thingiverse, which I modified to fit into my project. The 3D printed cover acts as a light diffusing cover for the NeoPixel ring. Semi-translucent material softens the bright LEDs, preventing eye strain and protecting the components. Once all the 3D models were sorted, I went ahead and printed them using my 3D printer. To complete the setup, assemble the 3D printed enclosure and insert the electronics into it. Mount the ultrasonic sensor on the garage wall at a bumper height for accurate detection and install the LED strip where it is clearly visible to the driver. Calibrate the system by testing with objects at known distances and adjust the safe distance, warning distance and danger distance values in the code accordingly. Finally, fine-tune the buzzer's frequency and duration for optimal alerts. When the unit boots up, the LEDs flash in rainbow colors and then switch to displaying a color based on the proximity. The distance is also shown on the 7-segment display. If no movement is detected, the LEDs and the 7-segment display turns off. Beyond standard proximity detection, this version also includes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity allowing smartphone integration to monitor distance via Google Charts. Let me know what you think. Feel free to like, share and comment if you have any suggestion for improvement. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.